if I was a beginner and this is the time I'm starting Forex trading or I'm focusing on lessons here on YouTube, let me tell you the first lesson that I would soak myself in that I would every day listen and watch is about support. So anytime someone is explaining about support and resistance, that is your main agenda. That is your main goal as a beginner or someone who is not profitable to understand what exactly happened at support. So at the end of the day, once you watch this video about support, formation of support, uh, you will be able to grasp a lot. So what I have done, uh, I have done already formation of resistance. So this, this way I have given the beginner who is, who is starting out, someone who cannot afford my mentorship program, I have given them a gift. Let me tell you, if someone is teaching you about support and resistance, they are giving you a gift more so in more detailed way. You know, there's the, the, the normal way of teaching support and resistance. For me, it's about formation of support and resistance and you who is watching for you to understand and to apply. So in this lesson 42, let's get into the formation of support. Let's understand what happens at support. Let's understand what patterns happens at support. It is crazy because even there are candles patterns that happens at support that you need to understand. So the first thing is that what is support or how is support formed? You need to understand that anytime the market is going on an uptrend, buyers go up, then this is called exhaustion phase, then the impulse move, exhaustion, the buyers taking control. Once the market is doing like this, there's, uh, there's um, a resistance and support being created. So resistance is created by buyers who are taking the market up and support are these zones that the, buy, the sellers are coming in and failing to break these levels. So support is a level that is is not able to, to, to be broken. So it's a level that holds the price not to break through. So any, any, any market that is on an uptrend, if we are talking of a downtrend market, now that level that we are seeing, the market keep breaking that low. So when the market is breaking that low, we say it is breaking the support. So on an uptrend, support is not broken. But on a downtrend, support keeps getting broken. So you need to understand when the market is on a downtrend, support is evidence that it will be broken. So if you want to know, is my market at the support, uh, it's a, it, is my market an uptrend or a downtrend? When you mark your support, it will be broken. If you want to know, am I on an uptrend? When you mark your support, it is not even touched. So the sellers keep getting weaker and weaker. That's how you understand how support and resistance is all about. So the question is, how is it formed? So we have discussed about support. So support is anytime a red candle. So you can't have support if you have, uh, if you don't have a red candle. So you have to have a red candle first. So a support is anytime you have a red candle like this, followed by a green candle. So anytime you have a red candle, so the market opens here and closes around there. And then now again, you have another red candle. Trust me, you do not have a support. If you keep having a red candle like going like that, you will never have your support. Why? Support is only authorized when you have a red candle followed by a green candle. So instead of a red candle, another for me, you get a green candle and automatically now we have a creational support. So are we, in, are we together? So support is created when a red candle is followed by a green candle, that's the only way support is created. So you need to go back to your chart. You need to go back to your chart and look where we had a support area. Most of the time, not even most of the time, every time we have two candles, a red followed by green. So here we have a support, but all these places we do not have a support. Why? We cannot have a support in a place where there is no red followed by green. So if I come to my chart, if this red is followed by green, automatically I have my support area. If here red is followed by green, automatically I have what? A support area. I look again, if red is followed by green, I have a support area. So finding support will not be a very uh, big thing for you. So here red and green, already I have my support area. That's how we identify support. And you can see the market first created this support, 
And then now price came back to that, the same support, and then came the third time. So you can see, you might watch a support getting created or formed, and then that support, you will use it for future reference. So now you understand how support is created. Now I want to tell you the candles that appear at support area. Mostly, I will give you how many candles. Let's see how many candles I'll give you. I can give you two candles that are, are found in, uh, there are six or seven candles as a, uh, a spot in uh, in the support area. But due to that is an, uh, that's a premium course that I teach in my mentorship program, there's no need of me saying everything and it is in my course. So I'll just give you two. Number one, we get a bullish engulf at support area, bullish engulf. And then number two, we have a dragonfly dragonfly so these are these are some of the candles that we find in the support so anytime the market is a red candle going down and then all of a sudden a green candle comes and engulfs it so that's what we say bullish engulf bullish engulf will always happen at support so these two candles will happen at support and it means very very it is a very powerful indication the market will buy the dragonfly is a candle that looks like this with a small body and then a wick. So a dragonfly can either be red or green. It keeps, it suggests also the body is very slender like that. That's a dragonfly. So a dragonfly also suggests a momentum that is going on an upward market. So it can either be green or red. So anytime for me, I see these two candles in support area, I already know that you are about to go for a long term buy. So let's look for these two. First, we look at support. If we look for bullish angle, you can see here, we had a red candle followed by green, created a support. See again, we have a red followed by green. What type of a candle is this? It's a bullish angle. Can you see? So that bullish angle pushes the market up. Even this one, it's a bullish angle. Red followed by green. What is it created a bullish angle? So many times when a bullish angle is happening at the support, it's one of the indications that this market will do, will do what will buy. So if you come here, if you spot this red followed by green, it's still a bullish angle. So we have that. Now let's talk of, let's talk of, um, these are bullish angles, red followed by green. It's a bullish angle. And we can see our first dragonfly. Can you see it, guys? So you need to understand, yes, at support, it is it forms like this. But which candles do they form? And we will see, once you see the dragonfly, the market automatically goes up. You can see the market, once that dragonfly printed, the market went up again. Can you see this dragonfly? Can you see? There's a dragonfly here, and then the market went up. So anytime you see dragonfly in your support area, it means that market will go up. That's an indication of this market is going to buy. So uh, let's see if we can see another dragonfly. Can we spot another dragonfly? Like I say, dragonfly can be either red. This is a dragonfly, can either be red. And is this area support? Yes, because we had red candle followed by green created a support and then green then another red so this red was an indication that that market is gonna buy another dragonfly can you see so we have spotted at support support formation so we uh, we have done let's let me show you what we have done we have done support formation number one follow closely we have done support formation number 2 we have done candles formed candles found at support and then number 3 we will do patterns to trade at support You see now, so we have we have uh, three patterns that we can trade at support. And let me, let me speak of the two patterns. Number one, automatically you already know a double bottom. A double bottom, of course, will be looking at the support area. 
double bottom. And the second one is ranging, channel, break, at support. So these are the two candles. We have many patterns that I teach in the mentorship again, but I will let me just mention on this. So there are many patterns that uh, I, I teach. They are not the only ones. So ranging channel break at support and double bottom. So what do I mean? I mean that if you have a double bottom, it means that there was a support area. Once there was a support area. So there was this support area, the market went up, came back to that support area, and now you're looking for a buy entry. So that's what I mean. At support area, you are looking for that pattern, which is a double bottom. And that is number one. And then the other one is a market that has been ranging. So you might find this market has been ranging, has been ranging for quite some time. And then all of a sudden, they break the range. So you will still, because they have broken the range on a support area, you'll be looking forward to trade that market. So what I'm saying is that there are so many patterns that you can apply that are happening at the support, but now, because you understand everything, uh, I think we can get into the video. So I have said, uh, this video, you, you are learning support formation, candles that are formed at support, patterns that are formed at a support, and how now to trade them. If you find a ranging channel, how do you trade? If you find a double bottom, how do you trade? So let's begin from our chart analysis. So anytime you're analyzing, this is daily time frame. anytime you're analyzing the market, you need to understand the market structure and uh, you need to understand the price action and the pattern. So this market structure is an uptrend. Yes, it's an uptrend. So if at all the market is an uptrend, but there's something else. This uptrend, we have like a, a ranging. So it's a uptrend stroke out a ranging market. Can you see that is the market structure? Yes, we, we, we are not refusing it's an uptrend, but it has entered to a ranging pattern. So once the market enter to a ranging pattern, if we check the price action, the price action is what happened uh, previous day. We had a spinning top. Spinning tops talks more of rejection. So this zone is getting rejected. When we look of pattern, we have two patterns here. We have a double bottom. This is pattern one. We have a double bottom. And then we have the ranging channel, the overall. We have this ranging channel. Can you see it? You have that ranging channel. So we will trade one at a time because range, ranging channel, the market needs to break either side, either side. But for the double bottom, the market just need to give us a what? It just needs to give us a, an entry. So we have a double bottom and we have a range. So I will just first do away with the ranging, but if they break, I can consider the ranging back. So I will do away with the ranging and concentrate with the double bottom. But it is just important to know that you are seeing the two patterns because in this video, I just want to highlight about support. So we have a double bottom. We have our neckline. So this is our neckline. And then we have our half. We have our half, guys. So this half, if you can notice, for us to get into this trade, we need to use WBB strategy. That's the, the strategy that is used on daily, weekly, and monthly. And already we have uh, put a box there, we are waiting. Now, before even we wait, we need to confirm that this double bottom is not on the weekly. So let's confirm if this, these are the steps that you don't, uh, you don't, leave behind so when i go to the weekly time frame i need to see that we do not have that double bottom now the question is comment down below do you think weekly we have a double bottom do you think weekly we have a double bottom so comment down below what do you think and support your answer do you think weekly we have a double bottom for me what i'll say is that we have because when this red candle forms followed by a green candle, automatically it becomes a support. So if you didn't have this green candle, we could not have a support. So red followed by green, a support. Then red, red. So the market has done what? The market has activated. Can you see? The market has activated the second attempt. So what did we say when you have 
a double bottom on two time frames. We said you avoid that double bottom. Why? Because on one time frame you're being told uh, you have this double bottom, and then the higher time frame still you have it. So you can't enter this market. And the reason is confirmation will come from the weekly. So even if we get um even if I come here and I I place a box here and the market breaks, I will have to wait for the weekly candle to give me an entry. If the market breaks half by daily time frame, I need a weekly time frame to break also. I need to wait for it to see it has broke so that you can target half. So for me, I find a double bottom that is in multiple time frame. For me, I find uh why can't I trade this double bottom as an inverted, uh inverted cup and handle. So when we talk of inverted cup and handle, this is what I mean. I can trade this as inverted cup and handle. So this is the cup and handle like that. Can you see? And if the market breaks, it will go this distance. So for me, that's how I would trade it. Or I trade it like a ranging. There's so many ways to trade. Or, or, or I trade it like arranging and wait for the support or resistance area to be broken. So at this point, I, I, I already know I cannot trade a buy of that double bottom because the double bottom is available on the weekly. So let's see what happens after you place the box. The box didn't break. The box didn't break. Can you see the candle that you have got? I have told you again, when you find like, uh, this is more of like a dragonfly, even if the week is a bit longer, but a dragonfly. So if you if you say that you will come and buy here, this is a very, very tricky trade because you can enter buy and the market sell on you. So we are no longer looking for buy because this candle is Wednesday. It's either we wait Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so that we can flip on the weekly and find for ourselves that half has been broken. So we go again. So we are going to the next day. And the reason why we are going to the next day, we just want to check is the double bottom uh, did half break. So we go, we go to the next, and you can see that the market has the market that has has already broken our area. So the half has been broken. Let's measure again where. So that's where our half is. Now, this is Thursday. You still need how many days? You still need Friday for you to go now for four hours and verify truly the market has broke. So if you enter a buy, this is, will be ignorant. If you come here and enter a buy, the question will be, why did you trade from the daily time frame when weekly had given you the same double bottom? So this one is ignorant. So don't trade when weekly has not given an entry. So we don't trade and immediately it breaks like that. What happens? The market goes down on you and breaks and give us a cup and handle. The question is how many people are, were, were trapped in this area? So many people. So the market, the market went down in a day, 271 pips. You see, when I teach these things, sometimes people take it for granted. Oh, she's here teaching us. But I will never, I will not teach forever. For me, I know when my season of teaching will, will come to an end, the only thing you can play is my videos. And 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 this this information is not is not getting old anytime soon. This is evergreen content that even if you're in 2030, you will be able to go to my videos of seven years ago. And what it will teach you is that the same things I keep saying right now, there'll be the same things that in five, 10 years ago, people will still be teaching about. So why would you, I, and I keep telling people, when you find a double bottom that is on two time frames, don't trade it. And you see, when I tell you not to trade, it doesn't mean that sometimes it will hit the neckline, it does. But I'm telling you not to trade to avoid such disappointment. 279 pips are a lot of pips. 279 pips are a lot, a lot of pips. And what happens is that when you have this many pips, you will get discouraged and you will think the market does not obey you. Now I want to see someone who had bought here and now they have not realized what has just happened is the market giving us a cup and handle. And at the same time, 
giving us a ranging channel break. Because most cup and handles the way I think, even if now this was Friday, if we go to the weekly time frame, if we go to the weekly time frame, you can see there was no green candle to indicate the market had broke. Can you see? There was nothing. There was nothing to indicate the market had broke. So daily can break, but because it, the same pattern is on a higher time frame, it fails to break. So you can say, oh, I have gotten a cup and handle. Someone can trade this as a cup and handle, but another one can trade it as a ranging channel. So student A can trade it as a cup and handle, which is like this. Oh, this is four hour. Let's go to daily. So they can trade this with the cup and handle like that. But there's someone who will not see the cup and handle. They will see this market has been ranging. The market has been ranging for that area. So it is the same because we are taking the distance. So there's someone who will spot a ranging. They will not spot a cup and handle because even they were not trading the double bottom. But anyone who was trading a double bottom, the first thing they will spot is an inverted cup and handle because a failed double bottom produces a cup and handle. But there's someone who had seen this is a ranging in the first place, they will say, I'm trading a range. So those are two patterns in one. So the first pattern was the double bottom that failed. So this is part, pattern one, pattern one, and pattern two, either it can be the cup and handle or it can be the ranging. So whichever you, you are seeing, that can be your pattern two. So what you need to understand is that pattern two, mostly the market goes to half or goes to the uh it goes to the half or sometimes the market finishes the whole zone so that is that is half of the our pattern so at the end of the day if you want to enter this trade because the market has broke it's either you wait for retest which is not a big distance because it never left a big distance or if you trade up to here you trade, you enter sell and trade up to here. So 248 is what you are guaranteed, 248. Note where our half is, there's an obstacle, a support area, and this is a one candle support. A one candle support is very, very powerful. So this is a one candle support. Can you see it? A one candle support. So once you have a one candle support, your take profit now stops to be the green candle and comes to the that zone. So short position. So this is our take profit where there's the green zone. So let's see how many pips are those. 230 pips. So once you have, you see, I told you at support, you can have a double bottom, a ranging channel and other many patterns. So you need just to take two and practice on them. So the market starts to go down, go up. You can see here, this was a retracement, came to retrace and the market is going down and it has activated. How easy is that? How easy is that trade? Just understanding support, you have made money. Now, what do you need here? You need to, uh, this is now, this is pattern. Pattern two is the cup and handle. Guess what? We have now pattern three. Can you see pattern three has been activated? P3. So pattern two, it reached half. P P3 is now what is the new in the town. So P3 is what is the new in the town. So let's see what happened. That's our half. That's our half, guys. And let me make it green. So we are waiting again, we will use what? WBB here. So we are waiting for green candle, then we continue. So we get a green candle, it has not engulfed. You put a box, then a red candle comes. You remove the box, you start again. Then next, the, red, the green candle did not engulf the red. So what do you do? You put the box on the green. Next. You get a red, like a gravestone, you remove the box and wait for the market to break uh, the, the, the gravestone. It fails to break. You take the green candle and the market finally breaks. 
This is a very easy trade. Why? By the way, we didn't check if this double bottom is on the weekly. It's always good to check. Why? You don't want to waste all that time and it's available on the weekly. So let's see if it is available on the weekly. Is it available on the weekly? No. Meaning that double bottom is very, very powerful. So you enter your position around here, long position. So we see how many pips are those? How many pips? Note you had taken 230, now you're taking 138. And also note that the market loves to retrace. So you can go to lower time frame, look where the market can retrace so that you can enter your buy limit. So as we wait, as we wait, for some for some reason, the market seems like it will it will never, it's like it's going down because it is retraced for three days. But eventually, the market does what? Hit your take profit. Guys, I can continue with this indication, but now we are done with pattern three. So it's you now to wait again for the market to break here and start the process again. Or the market can come and activate this double top, becomes pattern four. So it never stops. So what I wanted to show you in this video is the power of support. Once you understand support and mostly one candle support, you see one candle support is very powerful. The support that is on the weekly time frame didn't do much, but the support that is only on one time frame did much. So with that, with that, uh, with this video, now I believe you can be able to trade on your own. You can be able to trade support and resistance, and you're able to make money. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Love you. Bye bye.